Today, New York starts now. I'm Lux, uh, next year on this Sunday morning, school safety, yeah, it's a bigger part of the national conversation than ever before. We've got a local expert here in our studio to tell you about plans he's working on for a number of school districts in our Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Well, it was just a few days ago that thousands, hundreds of thousands of students walked out of classrooms all over the country, including here in the Tri-State area, all part of the push to make their schools safer. It's a hot topic of debate on the national stage, and a Long Island security expert is becoming a big part of that conversation. Lee Mandel is the CEO of Intralogic Solutions, and he joins us here this morning to talk about this oh-so-important issue. How are you doing, Lee? Very well. Thanks for having me yeah, today. Thank you for coming in, because we could all use some of the information that you're about to give to us. I understand that uh, you actually have gone down to Florida and met with the parents and some of the school administrators in Parkland. I can't imagine how difficult that conversation must have been. Very emotional. I was asked to come speak to the parents to talk about what schools around the country are doing for security enhancements, technology, and really kind of describe the four-point plan since it's not any one topic at all that really solves this. It's a multi-pronged approach. And a lot of schools are now having to re-examine the approaches that they've been taking. Shelter in place and lockdown is no longer the only option for schools and I think people are starting to begin to realize that you agree yeah, there's a lot of technology out there but I keep on telling people it's really how we organize things you know we obviously have to make sure that we have good hardening of the perimeter of the schools but it's also the intelligence piece that we're learning a lot after Parkland and Sandy Hook you know people are talking about this there's always smoke before the fire and that's where the social media approach comes in ah that, that makes good sense so, so one of the things that you that you promote is, is a camera feed a link um, one of the um, the the police chief in Denville, uh, New Jersey, they have a very high-tech program going there, and he said that no school superintendent in anywhere in the country should not be talking to their police chief. If they're not talking to each other, there's a problem. Would you agree? Communication is key. What Intralogic does, we have our one-button lockdown that basically puts law enforcement in touch with the schools. Mm -hmm. So we're sharing the cameras, the floor plans, access to control the doors, and really just automating the process of locking down the building, because when you have a situation like this, unfortunately, seconds truly do matter. So the one-button lockdown automates the whole process of locking the building down so you don't have to pull out the checklist and say, what do I do first, second, and third? Is this what you have here? This is demonstrating the, the one, and there's an app for it as well? Yeah, there's an app for it. The, the one-button lockdown, this button actually gets hit in the building, and when they hit that button, it automatically flashes strobe lights, locks classroom doors, makes announcements over the PA system, and most important, it shares the data with first responders mm -hmm. so they can see the cameras, the live floor plans, pictures, assets, and control the doors in the building. That's, of course, if the school is equipped with all of that, which is an expensive undertaking for a lot of districts and one that a lot would be hesitant to take, but, um, but certainly a necessary if, if unfortunately in the times that we live in. But tell me about that. So that's real time technology, installing cameras in schools. And then so police obviously can see where that person is should a school be breached by an intruder. Exactly. The concept is why they're on the way to the scene, God forbid, law enforcement can already be looking into the cameras to determine where the people are in the building. What we saw in Parkland, they talked about the 20-second delay or 20-minute delay. Mm -hmm. um, we avoid that because we're trying to automate the process before they even get on the scene while they're in transit. They're looking at the floor plans, they're locating the shooter and the best point of entry in the building, and they're getting notified quicker. It's all about seconds. These incidents are over so quickly. Absolutely, and every second counts. I mean, it is so critical because just gaining access to a building, I mean, what happens is, that, you know, once the school goes on lockdown, the secretary or whoever might be buzzing those police officers in has already taken cover, or God forbid something else has happened, right? So getting access to the building is crucial. It's a challenge. You want to make sure the law enforcement community can get in. We don't want community members to get in. So it's always a challenge. We want to lock the perimeter doors, secure the perimeter, but gain an easy way of accessing first responders into the building. So whether it's a swipe card or some electronic method, we want law enforcement to get in quickly, promptly, to ascertain what's going on and obviously save. Talk about your four-point security plan that you think school districts need to implement? So when Intralogic does an assessment for a school, we talk about the four points. The first point being infrastructure hardening. We really got to make sure the perimeter of the building is secure, that no one can get in. It's then also about intelligence. How do people see something and send something mm -hmm. or see something and say something so law enforcement can intervene? And then we talk about the response time, getting law enforcement there. God forbid we need to have them there. How quick can they get there? What methods are we using to get them there? And then obviously is the training. Any one of these four points without 
without the other is not going to save the day. We really got to put these all together. It's an organized strategy. And I always tell schools there's grant money, there's funding out there that we can help them get. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't realize that on a federal, state, and local level. Oh, is that right? Uh, no, see, that's something I didn't realize. That's terrific. And, and obviously, um, the number one point, communicate, communicate, and, and drill, 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 sadly, in this day and age. Intralogic, you've already helped several schools on Long Island who are implementing this, some of these strategies, right? Yeah, we're actually nation nationwide. We work with 150 school districts nationally, a lot here in New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut, as well as Florida. Well, thank you. We appreciate your insight. We appreciate your expertise, and uh, prayerfully, we will never have to use it, but it's there, you know, since we need it. Thanks thank for you. having us thank on. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lee. Thank you. All right, Gus, back over to you. All right, Pat, thank you. And we're coming right back with a final check on your